So FTX's international business crashed. FTX US did not, but they are very interconnected as all of the international jurisdictions are. Can you talk about the sort of international infrastructure? How are all of these different crypto companies and protocols related to each other in different countries? Yeah, so my understanding of the situation is that uh, after they declared bankruptcy, uh, FTX US also concurrently declared bankruptcy. And the key to this, to understanding this, is that crypto doesn't really have a jurisdiction. Crypto is just open internet. Anyone with an internet connection can access cryptocurrencies, you know, whether they they use you know whatever web infrastructure that they use. Um, you know, the 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 key to, to the key to, to make this ecosystem so powerful, what makes this overall crypto environment, web three technology, you know, such a great uh, you know, evolution to, to, to technology is the fact that it's open and available for everyone to use. So I'd say it's very difficult to define a, 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 a jurisdiction. Um, of course, you can, you can KYC customers, um, you know, in different countries, you can put uh, different blocks on the front ends of your protocol. But in terms of open access, all of this stuff is interconnected. And look, you, you raised some interesting questions too, right? Because, you know, we're going to start talking about regulations, but what you just hit upon is the big point. Like, how do you, first of all, how do you regulate something that really you can't regulate? That's kind of the way it's built. But then also you have different regulations in different countries. You have different governments, you have different laws, and they're all kind of like not operating together. But they're going to have to, or, or what do you think? I mean, do you think that this latest crypto crash will expedite regulations? You know, I think regulations have always been 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 there. Um, you know, regulations were going to happen regardless of, of this crash, um, whether it happened or not. Um, one of the problems is that, you know, Sam kind of threw through gasoline on a fire. You know, he was a, a, a hypocrite when he you know talked about his crypto regulation bill to regulate DeFi and the broader DeFi ecosystem. Though in reality, FTX was guilty of a lot of these things that he wanted to establish regulatory uh, oversight for. And so I think the key is to regulate centralized, you know, ecosystems, centralized exchanges. They're going to need better regulatory frameworks put in place. They're going to need a, a ability to do better audits, better transparency, execute um, uh, situations where you understand proof of reserves. And so these are key for for um, for centralized entities. DeFi protocols, on the other hand, are, are vastly different. DeFi protocols are open source. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're all open source, they're all open ecosystem. And so it's a, it's a different dynamic. And I think what regulators are going to need to do is they're going to need to understand the differences. They're going to need to have, you know, very crypto DeFi specific departments to understand the nuances if they want to do the regulation right. Otherwise, broad sweeping regulations not going to work in the space. It's just going to, you know, hamper development and just set, set us back, you know, a few years in terms of technological development. Okay, so let me let me just uh, translate a little bit what you just said because you are very high level. But I do, you know, we have a lot of people who are very new to learning about crypto on this channel. But so essentially, there's really two camps, right? You've got the centralized camp where that's the institutional money, right? That's that's all the governments. That's all the there's, you know, everybody wants to have an opinion. Then then you have the decentralized part of the ecosystem which really hands off, everything's run by smart contracts, code is law. So you really have two completely different camps and philosophies in the same ecosystem. So how can you even really have rules when you have a completely divided world? Yeah, this, this world is made up of, of different viewpoints and different ecosystems. Um, I think the key is, is uh, so uh, you, broke it, you broke it down really well. So in crypto, there's sort of these two camps. There's just open DeFi ecosystem, and then there's centralized entities that that uh, that act as um, uh, intermediaries. The truth of the matter is, is that um, for the future adoption of crypto, both of these things need to work together. Like both centralized and decentralized entities need to, you know, coordinate and collaborate. Otherwise, there's not going to be a cohesive uh, crypto ecosystem. The key is, is that. How do we move more of it onto the decentralized side of things? How do we how do we avoid some of these web web 2.0 frameworks? Uh, by web 2.0, I mean you know more you know centralized developed uh, ecosystems um, 
as opposed to just DeFi infrastructure. Let, let's get yeah. more, like, dude, you, you have to come back because you're so high level. It's amazing. Uh, we're going to go to break, and I got one more segment with Brent Shu here on The Daily Job.